Okay guys, so in this one we are going to set up our MVP landing page project. And the easiest way to do that is open up terminal. Well, pretty much the only way. And then we're going to change into desktop. And we're going to do a Django admin.py start project. And I'm going to call it MVP landing. And if you notice, there is now a folder on your desktop. Um, this will be true for all computers. So let's just take a look at that folder real quick. And notice that there's python manage.py and then there's MVP landing settings, URLs, and all that. Cool. So that's a good start. Another way to look at it, of course, is to list it out and then change into that directory and do it this way and then change into the next directory. And a pretty easy way to tell if it's a directory is it doesn't have an extension on there. That's that's what I use all the time. Um, so next thing we want to open up Cometo Edit Eight, and I'm not going to open recent ones. Um, if you don't see this sidebar here, just go to View, uh, Tabs and Sidebars, and then hit Places, and that will come up. And now we're going to open up a new project. And we're going to put it on our desktop, and we're going to name it the same thing, MVP Landing. And then we click this project here, and if it's lower, just make sure you open that up. And add existing folder, and we'll navigate, make sure you're on the desktop. Grab that first MVP Landing, open that up, and save it. And then we can actually open that folder by double-clicking. And now we see the same files on Komodo Edit, which means our project is ready to go. And we have our settings, all this stuff. These things should look familiar to you because uh, we already went over it. And I'm going to do a SQL Lite 3 database. And I'm going to call it MVP landing.sqlite. And now I want to make sure I navigate into our project here. And I'm going to go into MVP landing and I'm going to touch that. And now I made that fault file. Another way to do it would be to do new file and then just do that. But it's going to conflict. So now we have that set up. We don't need user password on SQLite. Uh, of course, if you are using MySQL, you would put all those things as we've already discussed. So let's save that, and we're going to actually do a quick little test to make sure it's working. Python manage.py run server, and it looks like it's working. There's no errors returned. Open up Chrome here, and it's working. Great. So let's go back into our settings, and let's just uncomment a few things. Notice that hashtag makes uncomments an entire line. Uh, that's useful going forward okay so then we uncomment to admin and admin docs and we're also going to uncomment the same stuff or admin stuff inside of the urls as well this is so we can actually access the django admin which you will see shortly here i'm going to quit the server with control c and we're going to do a python managed py and we'll do a sync database and it installs relatively fast with SQLite. Uh, if you don't have any super users, you definitely want to create one. So say yes, type out Y-E-S, and make your username, and put your email address, and of course, create your password, and installed successfully, very good. So now we want to run the server one more time. A quick way to get back to what we just did is just probably pressing up, so you don't have to retype it. Um, it's running so we can do a quick refresh here page not found this is actually very good so a very good start um, and go to the admin type in um, your username and password that you just made I'm gonna save it and we have it all set up and ready this is a very good start and all we need to do now is is make the first app um, and then we'll that app will kind of control you know how our um, our signups are actually handled and put into the admin. So you'll see that in the next one, and uh, we'll see you then, guys. Okay, thanks. Bye.